the, the field of uh, our experience is now very, very wide, and it's, it's impossible to, to speak about everything just for one hour. You are not pediatric surgeons. Uh, just three uh, are pediatric surgeons here in this room. So I just want to uh, uh, show you what can be done well, I decided to choose some examples. But first of all, probably you have a not a good idea of what is really pediatric surgery. And that's the first question I wanted to ask and uh, to answer, because uh, probably for uh, most of you, uh, you think that's, uh, that's just surgery uh, for children. That's to say we are uh, here to uh, uh, operate uh, appendicitis, and descend the testis and so on, and that's, that's easy. That's uh, uh, j just a surgery for small adults. That's not true. That's absolutely not true because the, uh, really it, that's not surgery for children, but pediatric surgery. And pediatric surgery is, pedi is surgery for malformations, complex malformations. That's what we learned here. They, these are pictures about uh, disorders of sexual development. That's one of our topics, but we have many, many kind of malformations, uh, parietal wall, ampelocele, gastroschisis, anorectal malformations, and so on, so on, so on, so on. So this is really the heart of our job, and that's not just appendicitis and undescended testis. And when we uh, speak about, about tumors, these tumors are really special tumors. You don't know these tumors. So that's really another job um, very different from uh, your job. I was, uh, 30 years ago, I was a pediatric surgeon, and I can say that that's really different. That's not the same uh, activity. And uh, what we have in pediatric surgery, when we operate, for instance, um, uh, diaphragmatic hernia, uh, we have some news of these uh, boys and girls and parents sent us pictures from these uh, children every year, for instance, for Christmas, and that's very nice. And I'm sure when you operate uh, an adult, an old adult, you don't have this kind of card. <laughs> <laughs> but we have to operate since uh, 20 years, probably a little bit more, uh, disability. Because th that's the problem of our societies um, and uh, we have uh, more and more disabled uh, children uh, because uh, we have uh, many accidents, but probably more because some of them were born too early. And when you, when you, bor when you, um, you are born with uh, 500 grams, uh, with a very severe prematurity, um, the risk of this kind of problem, very heavy problem, is important, and we operate for many, many uh, uh, problems, for instance, uh, drooling, uh, uh, scoliosis, uh, gastrostomy, and so on and so on. But that's, that's a part of our activity, too. And in this field, we, have, we had video surgery more than 20 years ago, and uh, we, we began uh, following our adult colleagues, you know. Uh, so we began with appendicitis and so on, and uh, Probably that's not, that's not correct, uh, and we, we thought that we had to uh, explain that we could do more and more than just appendicitis and appendectomy or cholecystectomy. And uh, probably one of the uh, uh, most important pioneers, two of these important, most important pioneers, are Jean-Luc Alain and Dominique Rousseau, and they, they are living and working in Limoges, this is the center of France, and they, they began in 1989 uh, to, uh, with the uh, hypertrophic pyloric stenosis. That's to say they began to operate by laparoscopy in children, in children uh, from uh, uh, two weeks of life to six weeks of life. That's, they, they, decide, they decided to, to prove that it was possible in 1989, and they, they did. They uh, had uh, a first attempt. It was impossible to do anything, but a few weeks later, it was possible just to hold the pillars, the pylorus, and surgery was completed by an open approach. And then, well, 
in 1990, Pauline and Hortense were operated on by laparoscopy. The surgery was completed, and it was feasible and effective. And these are the two first uh, young, very, very young children operated in the world uh, by this technique. Yes. And, um, <coughs> but we have to uh, remember that um, at this period, uh, camera, monitor, and so on, it was very, it was ugly. Uh, uh, we, we, quite, we, we couldn't see anything, you know. And the most important thing in, uh, in video surgery is probably to see. And uh, so that was the pictures. They, first of all, they began to draw what they, what they had to do. And then uh, these are some pictures uh, from their first video. That's terrific, you know. And uh, when we began, we had this kind. We don't, we don't remember, but we, when we see our old videos, we began with this kind of, uh, of uh, pictures. And now, you know, we have the same pathology uh, but with these new pictures. And obviously, that's easier to operate with this kind of view. So that's interesting to remember. And just a few, uh, uh, a few seconds about the first one of the first video of this uh, uh, treatment of hypertrophic pyloric stenosis. Dominique Rousseau sent me this video. Um, that's just to see. You, you don't see anything, you know? That's terrific. Uh, but, but remember, it was exactly like that. The instruments were not, uh, uh, were not good. This knife is absolutely terrific. Uh, this, uh, uh, we are not sure we are in an operative room, you know, operating room. And, uh, but please remember that. And when you, uh, when you begin, when you decide to, uh, to perform laparoscopy, uh, the most important thing now is probably to, to get a, a very good uh, video <coughs> device, that's to say TV, uh, that's to say the camera, and so on. The instruments, well, we find many, many kind of instruments, uh, and that's not so difficult. So um, since this, this period to until now, <laughs> Uh, we operated many, many uh, kind of pathologies. And this is uh, just to say that uh, now we are working hard about uh, neonatal, <coughs> neonatal surgery. And neonatal surgery, for us, that's impossible to, to speak about SILS, SILS procedure in a newborn who is weighting uh, two kilograms. That's impossible. And uh, what about the robot? That's exactly the same. So we have to improve our own basic skills, and we have to, uh, uh, to use the simulator many, many uh, times. And for the youngest uh, surgeons, for instance, uh, uh, Christos Caselas, who is working with us um, in, uh, in France uh, since a few weeks, th that's the most important, to begin with that, to work hardly on this little box, and then you will be able to work. This is, these are instruments, uh, three, three millimeter instruments. This is uh, an esophageal atresia, this is a duodenal atresia. These uh, children are not weighting uh, more than 2.5 uh, kilograms. So you can imagine we are working in a very little box. And um, <coughs> for instance, we, we, we didn't know if it was good to operate so young uh, children uh, because that's difficult. That's, uh, uh, these are uh, difficult uh, surgeries at the beginning.